you've got to try to measure as best you can talent and production. And, and with that decision, you've got people involved that you care about and know how dedicated they are to what they do. So those are always very, very difficult things. And you have to go on every tangible that you can. You know, uh, there are some intangibles that will enter into it for sure, but what, what, uh, you, know, what you need to know for the team's sake is who's gonna be the best at, at uh, production for this team. So th those are difficult times. And I suppose for the Beavers, it's good that we've had some tough choices. Uh, I think that competition can bring out the best in everybody if they handle it right. And it brings out the worst in them if they don't. And I think Sean made an exclamation point about that. It was, you know, and I, and I know both of those guys when the Cody and Sean thing was going on, I know both of them thought they should start. And that was fine. And, you know, it was a difficult choice. People don't believe it because of what Sean ended up doing that year. But, it, you know, Cody Vaz is a good quarterback, and he had played some good games for us. And, and uh, so I thought the fairest thing to do was leave it even as long as I could, and I left it longer than I should have. But, you know, in the end, we picked Sean, and it was, you know, from, from there, it was a historical moment. And... Uh, and I think that the, the way he handled all that was was very good. Last, last thing for me, but you know, Sean Sean's been your starter for you know, pretty much four years now, yeah. uh, long, longer than any other quarterback. Right. So, um, you know, with these kind of closing moments, I and mean, what's been kind of the vibe like? You know, the, the conversations. Fine. Not nothing dramatic. Yeah. You know, there's no drama here at, at this point. But uh, you know, it'll all hit me when we probably when we open up spring practice and he's not there. <laughs> but, uh, I love the guy. He is a dedicated, hardworking, good person. Uh, so it's easy to be around him, and, and uh, I think he's been a great beaver. You know, he's, he's over there right now signing autographs for little kids, and he's he's very, uh, you know, I, I think he's just very well respected, well liked, and, and he's obviously very talented. With 21 seniors leaving, I mean, can you take me through the type of conversation that you had with them that you will have with them when they go out on a recent Yeah, you know, time? I haven't had, you know, like I said, there's, in the in the course of getting ready to play games and all that, you don't have any dramatic conversations about them leaving. It will dawn on all of us, you know, through the senior night and, uh, and into the next month, uh, whatever happens, whether we continue to play or not. Uh, you know, our, our relationships built over a long period of time. So, it, and it's, you know, college coach player relationships are lifetime relationships. That's what I love about college football. You know, it's, uh, you get them at a very unique time in their life. You remember being in their homes, you know, you, you transfer yourself back four or five years and you remember those home visits. They're very special times. You've seen change and growth and been a, hopefully a positive part of that. Uh, and uh, you hope that they leave here better people. Uh, and, but, you know, the neat thing is, as you guys have seen, lots of guys are around and back. And so the relationship, it, it, part of it finishes, the playing part, but the rest of it stays on forever and the connection is forever. And that's why I've enjoyed being at a place for a while. I've seen now a lot of classes go through. Not too many guys in my business get to do that. Uh, so I'm thankful for that. Storm Woods was without the no contact penning today. I'm assuming that's that's good news for Saturday. Yeah, he is. He was cleared and uh, he should be ready to play, and uh, that's a great thing for us. But even without Chris Brown and Teron Ward, do you guys think you'll be able to to find a balance in the offense against the Ducks? Yeah, I think we have a chance to do that. It's very important to us that we work toward that, and these guys will be capable of doing that. Uh, you know, they they're going to need blocking help, and and then we'll be fine. I know that you said this rivalry first kind of came to you since in the sixth grade when you, you moved up here. Can you tell me from then to now your favorite Civil War memory? I can't, I can't differentiate. You know, I, it was exciting as a young kid to be involved. And, and uh, you know, when your dad coaches, you know, you are really involved. I mean, you hear all the stuff about the players and the games. And, you know, we kind of, we kind of, went week to week being really, really as close to fans as you can be. So that was fun. And, uh, you know, for me now, uh, being a part of the, the game in Oregon State, 
Civil War, all that is very special, and I'm thankful for it. And you know, there's uh, there's lots of hard times here lately with the games, but still, really good memories about this rivalry and uh, what this means to the state. I guess the biggest thing that I've seen change is that uh, the the game has in the last decade or so. It's it's the ramifications. It used to be just for the championship of the state. And, and then there's been national ramifications with Oregon playing in the national championship game a few years ago. We played them twice for ourselves to go to the Rose Bowl, you know. Uh, so, the, so, so the consequences have been much different and it's become more of a national game than it once was when it was a bit, always a big deal locally. But uh, I think that's been fun, really exciting to see two teams from a fairly small state playing or big stakes. Marcus Mariota, obviously, the, the big guy for the Ducks, potential Heisman candidate. I mean, what does it mean for you guys to go up against him? How big of a challenge does he, what well, he, challenge does he, he present? He's got all sorts of ability and he is, uh, you know, so knowledgeable about what they do. So his, uh, you know, his, his experience with his talent, it makes it very, very difficult. You know, we certainly you know, have a ton of respect for him. Uh, we have to play a really disciplined football game against Oregon. I mean, at the height of every responsibility, uh, whether they're running the ball, he's running the ball, he's scrambling, he's dropped back, or you know, whatever. There, you got to be very, very good because he has the ability to make even a disrupted play a good play. And so you got to keep playing till the very end. He, the play isn't over till it's really over with him. And that's that's one of the bigger issues with him. He's such a good athlete. You talk about your longtime connection to this rivalry, but how valuable is it to have a guy on staff like Trent Bray who's experienced it as a player in addition to now experiencing it as a coach? You know, I've got nine former players that are involved in some fashion yeah. here, and Trent is a good example of, of the guys that understand what the, the passion for this game is and the excitement for this game. So, uh, you know, the, the more people, because young guys never get it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and unless they grow up here. and. You know, the fact of the matter is there's, 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 this is a small state, so we've got guys from everywhere. So through time, they understand what the Civil War is about. And to have nine guys, and like guys like Trent, that are knowledgeable about this game and what it means, it's, yeah, I think it's good. Kind of a personal thing, what, what happened with Brandon Bennett Jackson? Brandon uh, has been suspended indefinitely uh, for violating athletic department rules and team rules. And indefinite is just that. I don't know mm -hmm. if and when he will be back. This is a little bit off topic, but it's Thanksgiving tomorrow. <laughs> so Happy what Thanksgiving are you? to all of you. Are you coming tomorrow? No. no. Okay. <laughs> what are you thankful for this year? Oh, this team. I really like this team. I've told you all that from the very start. This is a good bunch of kids. They've worked. You know, when you're with people in hard times, you find out a lot. <laughs> And uh, I think every week they've prepared well. They've been easy to coach. Uh, you know that there are parts of the program that are at an all-time high with uh, what they do off the field. So their discipline in getting, trying to get done what we all try to get done, which is win games, has been outstanding. So they've been. I really appreciate them, and I'm thankful for these seniors. They are really. This is a great group of guys. And and like I said earlier, I remember being in their homes, recruiting them, and I'm very thankful they came. You know, most of the time, everybody wants to know about the impact players have on the football team and the football games and all that. But they, these guys, you know, when you're with them as much as we are and you're, you're invested uh, in their lives and watching them grow, you, you, the impact on your life is greater than the football. And, uh, you know, they become part of what we think is a family here. So uh, pretty, pretty special. Uh, so I'm thankful for that. You may have already answered this, but what did you tell those seniors when you gathered them after practice? Oh, that that was that was a nothing deal. Uh, yeah. You don't even. I don't want to tell okay. you. Okay. <laughs> and it was good. It was good, but it was nothing. And I introduced them to Coach Anderson over there. That's what I took them over to the okay. side for. You know, because Jimmy comes to practice about every day, and he's mm -hmm. got such a wonderful history here mm -hmm. that uh, I, I don't know if our guys know that. He's a guy who recruited Gary Payton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it made a big impact on this university. 
it's, it's fun to see him every day at practice because I want to be that guy one day <laughs> that can come and watch practice. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely.